my neighbors are trapping my cats. And animal control says it's okay. What can I do to stop it? Oh, goodness. Cat trapping. Sometimes, sometimes we hear you know, something similar to what Jolie's asking about, that the cats have become a nuisance or the dogs have become a nuisance. Mm -hmm. And the question is, can they trap on their own property? And the answer, unfortunately, is yes, they can, yeah. but they cannot cruelly treat the animal. What's cruelly? Uh, well, you look at your statutes. You can't spray them down with a water hose. You can't mm -hmm. do anything unusual or cruel about them. And once you determine that it's somebody else's, you need to return the cat. Once they recognize that it's got a collar on it, they have to call the owner and come get it. Uh, right. There's no fines for that. Now, on the other hand, if it's a cat without a collar or, you know, some, you know, some cats act as nuisances. If you mm -hmm. have 10, 15, 20 cats and they're all through the neighborhood, and if you don't have a collar on them, then they ultimately can go over to animal control. This is something that really needs to be worked out among neighbors, and unfortunately, people these, these days, they, they're keyboard commandos, they get behind things, and then the next thing you know, they're trapping your animal and you know you, you got to worry about it now again uh, if you're and it doesn't matter which where you are I think you were in Bay County and certainly in Florida Florida has some animal cruelty laws that are pretty doggone stiff and uh, your, your neighbors playing with fire here if something were to happen to one of your animals and um, it may not sound like oh well we're not going to prosecute a dead cat or we're not going to prosecute over a dead animal or a dead dog absolutely uh, the sheriff's office and the prosecutor's office here in Bay County will do that. Uh, and if there's any, any hint of any type of animal cruelty, then your neighbor could be facing criminal charges. So.